my name is Charlotte Endorf. I'm from the Midwest. I live in Nebraska. And our world seems to be almost make-believe, I feel. Social media posts reveal mostly the best. For example, this week my friend went to the Virgin Islands. I enjoyed all her posts of the beautiful scenery and the animals. What she didn't share was the pain that she was in. She sat out of many things because of it. Her kids took her straight to the hospital when the plane landed, and that's where you'll still find her a week later. I almost canceled this interview. This week hasn't been a whole lot of wows or wins unless I deliberately made them out of a crazy, almost make-believe situation. You see, I started the week with such a bad backache. For several days, I could barely walk. My doctor works me in, and poof, the pain is gone, and I can function again. My guru that I hire to help me with my books, I'm on my 19th book, uh, came over and we got things going and we only have about two more steps to go and this one seemed to be like the fastest book I ever put out until the next day. I'm working with elderly and they want to have control of that pen. They tell me one thing, then they tell me another thing and they're about to drive me completely crazy. But after much prayer and sleep on it, I am the author of the book, the pen's in my hand, and if they want otherwise, let them pursue a book on their own. Only 1% of books end up published because it isn't easy. It's far from it. I've kept up the laundry this week, and it seems like such a hassle until I reread A Wash Day with a Double Tub Dexter in the 1929s and 30s. First, they would bring in the wash boiler from the wash house and put on the wood and cobs and for the stove. The fuel was brought in the night before. They'd fill with water. While heating, they'd gather clothes and sort in three piles, white, colored, and dark. Those would be need, needed to be divided into many if they had more than one load. They cut up a bar of homemade soap and they had to really watch so it wouldn't boil over because that was a huge mess. Then they got to the washing part. They carried hot water to the wash house and put it in the first tub. They added the soap and then they got that engine going so they could agitate it. You know, this day and age, we have it so easy and that's just part of the instructions the 95 year old gave to me. Several, several years I've tried to go to the statewide brain injury conference, which was last this week too. I just wasn't up to it, but I, decided this year I was going. However, the anxiety got the best of me and I only slept two nights out of five nights this week. So I get there, I'm completely exhausted. I thought, okay, I'm in control. I had signed up for four things in two days. I can handle this. But the people who don't have a brain injury were the planners and they went nuts with the schedule. There was no time to even go to the restroom. So again, I had to take control. I had to decide when do I need breaks? When do I need to be in complete silence so that I could continue to function or I would have been in bed today? Well, then I took my dogs for, for, to the groomer and we had been saving money with COVID and everything and keeping them at home and doing it ourselves. But then about a month ago, we lost our oldest dog and my time could only go so far. I was giving my time to the oldest dog and these two got a little bit matted. So we go to pick the dogs up from the groomer and they're completely shaved, almost bald. I am just freaking out. And it's only a dog's hair, but still, these are my pretty dogs that I take out for a walk. Well, it's only been a few days. Dog's hair grows fast. I just keep combing them and combing them and they're gonna look better than they did before. It's all in how you think about it. This morning we tried to go to church. My husband's on call. He gets into the church and he notices his boss has been trying to call him not one time, but 19 times. I mean, really 19 times. So we have to leave church and we can't even stay for church. I think this all started uh, with Dr. Seuss. I was reading uh, Dr. Seuss quote, with his hair still combed neat, 4,692 feet, then he'll land in a fishbowl. He'll manage just fine. Don't ask how he'll manage. That's his job, not mine. 
With brain injury, we want everyone to understand us. So we tell the good, we tell the bad, and we tell the gory. Some days, I just get tired of telling people the gory. And so I gloss it over. After all, I look fine and nobody knows the difference, do they? But I also try to uh, find things that will lift my spirits. You know, that brain injury conference wasn't as good as I thought it would be. But on the way home, some friends and I went to this little town and we just had a heyday in three different places, tried gelato for the first time. And I got a couple of bookmarks. And this one says, change is like a lab experiment. I get to try new behaviors and reactions. I get to grow. And the other one says, please let me be helpful to someone. And that's when I feel the best, is when I can be helpful to someone. Rob asked me to do a little video, so that's what I'm doing, even though um, it's not one of the best days in the world. And I love Zoom, because it looks like I'm professional, doesn't it? You think so, Rob? <laughs> but I actually am still in my pajamas. <laughs> so that's the best part. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.